Hello and welcome to our series of bow explorations. We are at number 10 and it's about dynamics. Dynamics are of course very important to make our playing more interested and interesting and varied and engaging. How do we change the amount of sounds that we get? How do we get louder or softer on the violin? There are basically two ways. Um, one is to use more bow speed, like this. And the other is to use more weight, like uh, leaning into the string more. And this would be like this. I think it becomes uh, obvious, particularly with the bow weight, that these two parameters have to be combined for a good sound. So if we increase the bow speed, we also need to add a little bit more weight, because otherwise this is what happens. We will just get this wispy uh, sound uh, recipe that is not really um, where the, the, the string is not really engaged right and on the other hand I think that was clear when I demonstrated it uh, if I just add more weight then it will become crunchy very quickly like okay less weight the limit is reached quite uh, quickly but also particularly in this last case if I use the same amount of weight, but then also at speed, the crunchiness will disappear, right? Okay, so these two parameters, both speed and weight, have to be combined. They have to be in proportion or in balance. So to explore dynamics we could start with scales as usual, for example uh, like uh, increase the sound going up and decrease it going down like this. not very well coordinated. <laughs> Let's try again. So that is one way and or one could just play scales like just going up and then repeating and uh, increasing the amount of sound. it's uh, possible to apply this to repertoire. <laughs> That's the point of making music, right? So I practice my Janschinov etude, number one, uh, with Detaché and doing dy dynamics uh, with these uh, parameters. And as always, I'd invite you to do your own experiments and let me know what you think. So, we are not at the end of this topic and it's getting even more interesting um, because um, right now we've just played in one sounding point basically in the middle between the um, fingerboard and the bridge the Chrysler highway for good sound uh, so to speak and uh, next time we will explore the different sounding points and combine that with the other parameters like bow speed and weight and uh, that will like open up not only the range of dynamics but also the range of sound colors which is really exciting I think. Okay so wishing you all the best for this exploration and 
talk to you again soon. Bye for now.